Are you familiar okay. with sun chokes? No, what is that? That's sort of a potato texture. Okay. And it's really good. It's like a hakama or some other hard vegetables. You could just peel it and, and uh, put it in salads. Oh, okay. okay. I love the salad mix and look at this. Oh, flowers. flowers. Oh, cool. And this is all organic. Mm -hmm. it's like it's yeah. yeah, and everything they have is uh, it's always fresh and lovely. And what do you do with sorrel? Pretty much the same thing. It, it looks like just the green that can be used to like salad. But yeah, you can put it in salad. Um, do you mind if we taste a little bit of it? It has that sort of sweet sour taste to it. Oh yeah. Um, so, you, but what I love to do is like melt it down into vegetable sautés or mm. um, or chop it up and put it into stir fries at the last minute so it retains its like lemony taste. Good morning. Tastes like it probably has a lot of vitamin C in it, good vitamin C. Here you'll find all kinds of fresh vegetables and fruits that are in the season. Plants, cut flowers, pastries, breads, and other natural products. What's yeah. burdock? Uh, burdock root is really great um, all during all seasons of the year, but specifically in the spring, it's known as one of those kind of spring cleansing vegetables. Um, it can be dried down and used as a tea, or I like to use it for a, um, a classical Japanese dish called kempira, which is like a stir fry. Um, it also pairs really well with other whole earthy flavors like mushrooms and barley and beef. So I like to make a pilaf with either brown rice or barley and the burdock added in the oh, Sounds excellent. Yeah. Do you have any chicken breast? Yes, or we do. Chicken. Yep, we have boneless, skinless breast. Okay. They're eight pounds. So do, do you, uh, are you a fan of the pancake? Yes. Love, love, love. It's one of the herbs that I usually put into the boon salad mm. um, because it just has such a wonderful fragrance. But did you know that half of the population of the world um, is mildly allergic to cilantro and it tastes like soap to them? What? So there are cilantro fans and then there are the cilantro unfans. Oh. I'm glad I'm not one of the unfans because I don't know if I could live without it. It's really good. It's refreshing. I put it in my salads. I'll put it on eggs. I mean, like anything that you can think yeah, of. And, and, it's not only for salsa, right? No. And I, <laughs> I really think that we have adopted it here for all kinds of things. And it's used in almost every cuisine throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Some stands offer samples of their produce and products. No, our county sweet cherries. Free samples right here. I have one. Thank you. All right, I want the second drink. Okay. So good. Okay. Really juicy. More samples. It's really hot. <laughs> a habanero? Yeah. yeah. i got to counter it with a medium. There you go. Much better. Woo. Oh, they're tart. <laughs> mm, yummy though. One of the many things this market is known for is its delicious spicy Stella cheese bread. There's a long line for this spicy bread, but it's very popular, so we're going to try to get in on it. <laughs> the line starts here. We're going to be waiting for a long time. Woo! The Stella. The Stella. The Stella. She made all this bread. Right here. This morning at 2 in the morning, she woke up and made all this bread all by herself. That's how amazing she is. Everything. We watched her. <laughs> this bread is so popular, about 2,000 of them sold within hours. 
What kind of cheese do you have in it? Uh, corn and butter, yeah. Okay, great. Try some more. Thank Good. you. Enjoy. Thanks. Finally, I got myself a famous Stella's cheese bread, and I'm gonna try it right now. It's nice and warm. And let's see. I've never tried this before. I feel like just biting right into it. <laughs> Oh, it's so cheesy. Wow. It's really good. It is true. It's one of the best breads around. <laughs>